running a couple PETG parts and uh, I just dried this PETG yesterday and it's already too, it's already picked up too much moisture uh, to print, just had to stop this. That was all globbed onto the, uh, the nozzle. Every single time, gotta dry your PETG. By the way, this is how I clean uh, my, uh, my heat block and nozzle when it gets messed up like this. So I just put a paper towel down on the bed uh, and I have a brass bristle brush. And I just brush uh, the whole heat block. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. I just brush the whole heat block and nozzle. And you do want the nozzle on for this. I have mine set at the same temperature that I would have it set at to change uh, the PETG filament. But I find this works really well. I'll give this a good brushing and you'll see the mess here that we're getting on the, the paper towel. And then I'll dry this filament and this will print perfect on the next go. I'll link the uh, the brass brushes uh, that I get uh, and the uh, the dehydrator that I use to dry my filament down in the description. Um, don't skimp on these. You don't want these brass bristles coming out um, and hanging around on your print bed or getting into your electronics as they are obviously conductive. Um, these weren't super expensive, but I think they were like one step up from the super cheapy ones. Um, and I haven't had any bristles come out of these at all.